freaking made it! Woo! How high are we? Jeez, dude. The view from here is ridiculous. I'm standing on like a telephone like antenna line and if it uh if it looks like I've been crying, um it's cause I was crying. Oh, why are you crying, Christian? It's cause I'm on the rim of a volcano right now. Um and if you were up here, you'd probably cry too. This is the coolest thing I've ever done. But yeah, you'll see. I'll start the rest of the video right now and then you can get to this point. Don't you baby. That's what time it is in the morning. Um, I am really tired, I already showered. The shower woke me up a little bit. Actually woke me up a lot, but I'm still really, really tired. I was like this much tired, now I'm just like this much tired. And the reason it woke me up this much is because um, here they have uh, three pretty cool settings for um, a shower temperature in Guatemala. It's like cold, really cold, and then they have this other one that like, um, I think they only invented it in Guatemala. It's called, um, what's it called again? Uh, oh, cold. Um, but so that was pretty cool. Um, and oh yeah, now we're going to a volcano. So, yeah. But what we're doing right now? Getting ready, driving to Antigua, Guatemala. It's like an hour away. Eating breakfast and then climbing the volcano. And the volcano, I will try to get the exact number of like feet, but I'm pretty sure it's around like 12,000 feet. And it's really high. And I would bring my drone, but uh, one, they said not to bring it because uh, there's like thieves, I guess, on like the way there sometimes that like rob people. So hopefully I don't get jumped. Just kidding. If someone jumps me up, I'm like, um, but anyways, I don't know, and it's just more weight in my back, but whatever. I'm just gonna skip to that, and yeah. You can't even see the top of it, but that's the volcano. It's like up in the clouds, is like the end of it. This is what we're about to climb. I would show you the top of it, but you can't see it. <laughs> it looks a lot bigger in person too. A una ruta, lo que es eh, como responsabilidad de nosotros, no. ah. es llevar a una ruta nada más y así. No, no llegan hasta arriba. No, ya sea del tronco o al linde. Ah. Fíjate que las zonas rojas ¿Ya? son es esto. Ah, esto de aquí para acá. Sí, zonas rojas son es esto. Pero igual, no, no, no pasa nada porque. Entonces la responsabilidad de no ser es sacar aquí y dejar hasta aquí o ah, aquí. Okay. Ya de aquí van solo. Igual contamos con guía, pero son 200 adicionales. Uh, we have to write our name when we go up. Oh, what's that? We have to write our name when we go up, and then when we come back down, we have to like cross out our name or write our name again on like a different part because it's like so big that you can like get lost up there. Even though you can like see everything from the top, it's really easy to get lost or sing. So we might die. Cool. <laughs> First, we eat. Look at where we are. Look at this. Hey. Look at this cool town we're walking through. We're gonna walk through this little town. This is Santa Maria de Jesus. De Jesus. That we're walking through to get up there. This town is awesome, though. Just look at this. Tell me this doesn't look like a movie that we're in right now. <laughs> That's where we're going.
This is just like the base of the crater and it is, oh wait, oh no. And it is, we're already like panting kind of. Wait, did I say base, base of the volcano? I don't know what I just said. I'm tired already, but look at this. An update, we're right here. Wait, right there. Or here, I guess I should say. But we are really high already, but we're only like a fourth of the way up. Jeez. Dude, nothing can describe this. This looks so cool in person. Oh my gosh, this does not even look cool on the camera compared to what it looks like in person. And we're only still like a quarter of the way up. Jeez, sorry if you can hear me like panting. Dude, it's like literally so hard to walk up this too. Not only is it super far up, but you take one or two steps forward and have like one step back. Your feet are like sliding on the sand and uh, dirt and stuff. Oh my gosh. This, oh my gosh, look at this. There's another volcano. <laughs> Dude, I can't wait to get to the top. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'll do the the um, meters to um, feet thing later, but that thing says that we're 2,715 meters up. I don't know what that is in feet, but I'll do it later. But we're not even like close to the top yet. <sighs> but that's kind of shocking seeing like but I saw some pictures that he took here and he was like looking straight down at the clouds, like this far down at the clouds. So we still have a long way to go. He said the top's not even there. It's like behind there and then it goes up higher. Yeah, you can't even see, it's too cloudy. Uh, the top's up there, right up there. It's like right here. You can't see it. Whiskey. <laughs> We made it. So there's like little houses. There's actually a store on the top, I guess for people to travel up here. Dude, I didn't film like anything because I legitimately, this was the hardest physical activity I have ever and I think I will ever do it in my life. Anyways, we freaking made it! If you only understood how this feels to be up here right now. We made it, baby! I don't care who you are, if you think I'm a wuss, like if I can't, if you're just like, oh, I could do that, I challenge you to try it. I mean, you can, I, I believe you can make it, but you will, you will be very, very, very humbled when you get to the top. You will be like, I don't care how fit I am, I don't care if you're JP Detzner, dude. Like, this guy works out as much as J.P. Detzner, right here. This is the guy I'm living with, by the way, while I'm here. And uh, he was like, dude, I my head was spinning the whole time. I said in my Snapchat stories, dude, I like can't even catch my breath. It's so hard to breathe up here. Oh, jeez. Um, my head was just spinning. I had to sit down. Let me check what time it is. Uh, I'm in so much pain. I'm like not even trying to like record a good video. I'm just trying to get like proof that I made it here. These are like cell phone tower or like lines or whatever at the top. And it's uh, 13,000 feet I think. Um, we're like, I mean, in a cloud if you couldn't tell. It's 1.30 right now. We started climbing at uh, like 7.30 in the morning. And we did not stop, did not stop. I mean, we stopped for like five minute sit down breaks, but like, dude, we pretty much did not stop. Like my legs, if I push the world with my legs, oh yeah, look at how dirty I am right now, by the way. Um, if I push the world down, I could literally move it. That's like how strong my legs are gonna be after this. <sighs> and we don't have volcanoes in. <laughs> The United States, so it's cool to climb. But anyways, we're gonna take a nap.
because we're all so dead tired. Oh my gosh. I'm standing on the roof of a crater. I just have to keep saying that. This is the, uh, the inside of the crater right now. You can see it better in person, but this is where the lava, when this was active, where it would explode from down that way towards, I forget what the name's called, but this town we started from is you know, way down at the end of the volcano, and then uh, Antigua is like right next to it. I wish, I wish people that I'm friends with and my family could be here. Anyways, I have never experienced anything like this. Uh, these guys are the bomb for coming up with me, and this guy, that's who I'm living with. He, uh, he was literally so nice about it. I, I was like, yeah, can we go up to the volcano? <laughs> I did not realize what it entailed. Like. You you won't understand. Like, please, for the love of God, whoever you are, whoever is watching, just climb. Not any volcano, because there's like really tiny ones. Climb this volcano, and you'll see what I mean. Just like, and you'll you'll appreciate it so much more, and you'll understand why I was crying. And that like, when you get to the top, you literally feel like a gold medalist. Like they they should honestly have like trophies up here because if you can get to the trophy, then you deserve to take one home. And like once you get to the, and if you're like, oh, maybe people would vandalize them or like throw them off or something. No, when you get up here, I promise you're a changed person. Like they need trophies up here. And oh, and this guy, he uh, he was just telling us that he lives up here for 72 hours at a time. This is his job. We're by like the radio antennas, like these things over here. And he basically just takes care of it. Believe me, it is the most strenuous, like physically demanding thing you probably will ever do in your life. This is the rim of the volcano. This side is the crater. That side just whoo, down 13,000 feet. Whew. Okay, so we made it back safe to the house. That volcano was yesterday. It was lit. I'm really tired. My legs feel like noodles. I don't know. I'm really tired. Probably going back to bed. Good night. Anybody around here? This is what we need in America. Why is this not in America? the Holy Week in Guatemala City and this is what's happening right outside of the room I'm staying in. I sleep here and it's happening right there. Thanks. Thank you. Could you please sing louder? <laughs> Just kidding. It's actually not that annoying. I mean, for now. We'll see. Okay, so I'm just flying the drone for fun right now. And um, I went downstairs to get the camera and I love that you can just leave this thing hovering because this is, if you don't know what it looks like when you're flying a drone, this is what, so look, I can see this while it's flying. See, I can pan the camera up and down while it's flying up there. And it is, wait, I can't even find it. There it is. It's all the way up there. But uh, I'm trying not, I'm trying to be kind of low key with it though because in this area drones aren't exactly like, oh, drones aren't exactly uh, common so it's not exactly the safest thing to be flying an expensive drone um, just like in this area because look at the area I'm in. Um, I love this thing so I just left it hovering and I, I just left the remote right here and I went inside and got this camera and I was like It'll just hover there, it'll just be chilling. But yeah, I'm not even like recording anything. I just wanted to fly it right now, honestly. And just look at the town and stuff. Watch, I'll fly it over here. Oh crap, I'm flying it higher. Um, so look, I'll fly it over here. Let me pan the camera down. Where is it on the camera? Oh my gosh, I can't find it. Hold on. It's some, there it is. 
the line up there. And I keep ducking down because uh, I'm trying not to let anyone know that I'm like the one flying it like, boo, look at me. But yeah, I just love to sing. Gets six shots. I, I was so not low key. I mean, I was low key about it, but like you can't really be low key in this like compact of an area with a drone because when it takes off, like you can hear it from like, you have to be like probably 200 feet away from it to not hear it. So when you take it off, all these houses are within 200 feet. But um, I catch it now to um, land it rather than just like landing it on the ground. I just catch it into my hand and like land it like that. But um, the kids that, by the way, this is sick, this trampoline on this rooftop right here. But the kids that were jumping on the trampoline up there were like, they're like, get you little, fly it again. And like, um, and then these kids down here too. Wait, let's see here. Yeah, I got like a crowd of like people down there. But, um, yeah, so I'm trying to be low-key even with this camera because, yeah, this area just, um, yeah. But, um, this is where I am staying at. This is actually a different house down here, but that's the bathroom of where I'm staying at. I'm on the rooftop, obviously. This is the drone. This is the drone remote. This is the city. These are the kids that I was talking about. Look at this shot. 